Whoa, well hello there everybody and welcome back to a man who can do a very British impression of the Queen. If I do say so myself. My name is Evan Edinger and as you can tell, today well, there will be a lot of hilarity. This looks funny, right? We're doing a tea test. Now that I am an official British citizen, it is time for me to put my foot down and tell you what is the best English breakfast tea that your lips can drink. That is the weirdest way you could say it. Also, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, you know, domains, websites, you name it. You'll hear a bit more about that in the end of the video. But, how this is gonna work. As you can see, we have 10 brands here, a couple that are just kind of toss-ups, all right? Uh, just for funsies, uh, for Americans in the audience, we have Lipton. Uh, they, they do say that this is available in the UK. It's not. No one in the UK, I think, would be caught dead having a Lipton, but it's the only thing you can find in the US, hence why Americans don't really like tea. This is good iced tea, terrible tea tea. Now, I don't know which one will be Lipton because my lovely associate Bliss will be preparing all the tea for me so that they are each done with filtered water to a 95 degrees Celsius and then I'll be adding the milk individually. And there's also one more toss up here. Uh, we have one that's not English breakfast. Where is he? We have here a Melbourne breakfast from Australia. Can Australians do tea better than the English? Well, that's what my mouth is about to tell you through a little bit of taste test. So while Bliss prepares, I think it's a good idea to read what each tea manufacturer describes their tea as, so that way you can get, um, hopefully, a better understanding of what these teas are actually like. So Typhoo just says, great British tea since 1903. This is one of those where they're just trying to claim they're the British cuppa. Doesn't even say English breakfast on that, but I'm fairly certain that is what this one is. Tetley, original, full flavored, vibrant, and refreshing. I'd say that's pretty accurate from my experience. Uh, we have Lipton, yellow label. I believe that's because uh, they do get this from Deer Piss uh, with the with the yellow uh, labeling from that. And then it says, little leaves, big difference. Really. Lipton describes their tea as rich and authentic taste of sun ripened tea leaves. Authentic to where? Nowhere, Lipton. Clippers uh, says the live and luxurious one. Organic English breakfast tea. Majestic blend starring full bodied Assam and wonderfully delicate Ceylon for a refreshing finish. Best enjoyed with the morning papers. All right, so they're made for uh, for boomers. Interesting. T2, obviously the Melbourne breakfast. This is the, uh, the one unique one here. They describe themselves as flavored black tea in a bag. Interesting. Then we have tea pigs. They describe theirs as plastic free. None of the other ones said that, so can't wait to drink a lot of plastic. A blend of black teas. Uh, all right. Ooh, our signature blend, our daily cuppa, our builder's brew, our Rosie Lee. Who is Rosie Lee? Is that a British expression? Rosie, oh, it must be a Cockney rhyming slang. Like, I want a cup of Rosie Lee, up the apple and pears, I fingered my finger and thumb. I, that's not what I, okay. <clears throat> Yorkshire Gold. So Taylor's of Harrogate, uh, Yorkshire Gold, a blend of three leaf origins from the top 10 tea gardens in the world. All right, that, that seems like they're really trying to uh, big up their tea here. Our finest blend. We'll see about that, Yorkshire. Gold. All right, we got PG Tips, the original. This is signature taste. There's nothing quite like a cuppa. Getting comfy, popping your feet up, dunking a bicky or three. Now they spelled bicky, B-I-C-C-Y, and I don't know if that's how you're supposed to spell it. I just want to say phonetically, I would probably put a K in there, even though it doesn't really make sense, but that looks more like bitchy. <laughs> so it says, dunking a bitchy or three. That's right, I put my bitches in my tea. Uh, with PG Tips. Oh, and of course, uh, hopefully uh, the one that wins this, the one that I like personally pref already, uh, is Twinings. And uh, now Twinings describe themselves as golden and well-rounded. Just like any viewer of my YouTube channel who clicks that subscribe button, do it, thank you, love you, baby boy. And then we have a TWG. Now this one, as you can see, is very small compared to the other ones. The other ones have like 100 teas per box. This one is the only one that's loose leaf. English breakfast, and despite its small size and loose leafness, so you'd think it'd be the cheapest, it's actually the most expensive. I'm assuming this one's either gonna be really, really good, because the fact that, well, I don't know, it's eight pounds, it better be really good, and it's loose leaf, or it's tourist tea, so it doesn't matter, it's gonna be disgusting. We'll, we'll have to see. Eight pounds for a freaking thing like, that is a Travis tea. <laughs> Without further ado, Bliss, it's time to make some tea. Okie dokie, so we've, we've got here a bit of milk, thank you to Bliss. We now have our uh, 10 teas here, and just as a palate cleanser, we've also got some digestives, digestive biscuits. So I do feel like it might be a good idea to possibly speak my mind about the teas I'm about to drink, because I do think I have some favorites. I have lived here for nine years now, and I have bought 
a majority of these teas. Twinings, for the most part, I usually choose now. I think that one tastes the best to me, uh, especially for the value and the price. Uh, PG Tips is a classic, that's fine. Tetley, no problems with Tetley. Uh, Yorkshire, I have found particular issues with. I feel like sometimes it's like, hmm. Also, the tea's not that great. Hey-o! I made sure that each of these teas has been steeping for four minutes. Uh, four to five minutes was the goal. And at this point, everything's good to go. So, we'll start off. All right. That was quite, there we go. Personally, I'm not someone that really enjoys a very white milky tea. I don't also enjoy it with a tiny splash. I like that mid-range splash, all right? It's not like coffee, you know, you're not supposed to like slurp it. <laughs> That'd be weird. Also, I just realized these were slightly out of shot. I didn't want to use the wide angle lens for reasons that I just thought this one looks prettier. So hopefully uh, you can see all these, whichever they are. All right, so this one is number one, the one that was furthest on the left for you. Here we go. A bit watery. But that tastes like a standard cup of tea. I've got no qualms with this one. I'll put this one over here. Next up, in the glass mug. Now you can actually see how much uh, milk I actually provide here. That's good. Yeah, that first one just tastes like standard tea. Like, I don't think I could have any issues with that one. It's uh, unoffensive, unoffensive tea. Ooh. That one's quite a bit fuller, actually. Mm. Yeah, I'd say that's, it, that one tastes like more tea. I can taste the tea more than the first one, which is a bit more uh, watery. I'm gonna be so caffeinated by the end of this video. Let's see what we got. Oh, interesting. There's a little, they're so minute, these differences, but I can taste them. I'd say so far, that one's been the most enjoyable. I, I do enjoy this one here in the green mug. Number three, it seems. Give it a nice mix. Number four. That one's just boring. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm just going to be ruling that one out. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I know that that's not as good as the other ones. I'm gonna go back and forth, but I, I didn't enjoy whatever that one was. Sorry for those playing at home. If that was my favorite of Twinings, I will probably cry into a little hole because I've learned something today about myself. <laughs> that's horrible. All right, next up, what is this, number five? Yet again, this is a similar to number two. Just, it tastes like a good cuppa. It's nothing wrong with this. That's really wholesome. I really enjoy uh, number five. He's definitely staying. I, I'm definitely taking a digestive break at this point. We'll dip that. Whoop. Exquisite. Oh, digestives. Milk chocolate, my favorite, but I felt I didn't want to like mess the flavors of my mouth around with chocolate. So mm. here we go. Numero seis for all you uh, Spanish people out there. We got Zex for all you nymphomaniacs and Germans. Oh, already, this one smells very sweet. I wonder, there is the Melbourne breakfast. So th there's a different one in here, or this could be the fancy tea that for tourists, I don't know. But this one already smells way different than the other ones. Yeah, actually, so far, I think this one has been my favorite. Most of these, I feel like, have a very similar, like, I'd, I'd be happy with kind of all of them. They're very tea tasting, but... That one is unique. That one stands out, definitely, uh, amongst these. So, next up, we have numero, what do we got? Siete. Obviously, my uh, Spanish is going very well. Thank you for asking. Got a video about that probably coming up in the future. Standard smell, standard tea. Hmm. That one's the, it's, it reminds me of number one. Let me, let me compare that to number one. Number one just tastes like a classic tea. I'm hoping that's like PG Tips or Tetley at this point, because that's what I, I'm, I'm guessing that one is.
I don't know how I feel about that one yet. I'm not gonna rule that one out, but I don't really enjoy this one as much as the other ones, I don't think. As I'm going to the right, I need to take my time because uh, I think they're a little bit hotter over here. Same smell. Let me just smell this one again. Wow, I'm still blown away by this. Whichever one this is, he, he's quite unique. It might be that all these are the English breakfasts and I, I found the one that's not, but it could just be that one's uh, everyone's favorite. I don't know. Huh. It, it, it tastes like tea. <laughs> uh, there's not enough, there's like not too much tea. There's not too much water. It feels like a very standard tea I'd be very happy with. Yet again, I feel like these three here and this one pretty much on the same page. Uh, this one, the one standing out. I'm gonna try and rule another one of these out maybe. How's this one taste? It's like in the back of my tongue. That one's got something going on there. Oh, it's a bit, this one has a little, little bit of sourness to it. Unoffensive, like uh, it's very unoffensive. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. This tea doesn't offend me. And that one yet again, I just, this tastes like tea to me. The other ones are like variations of, of number one, it seems to me. I like how one of them got ruled out immediately. I don't know what that was, but I feel bad for him. He was just, he was offensive. Too offensive for me. I just keep wanting to go back to this one. Oh man, what a treat. I'm dying to know what that is. Oh, that's got quite a little, I don't want to say fruity tone at the end. I like that one quite a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah that, this, this, this one's quite nice. Whatever number nine is, I, I'm very much a big fan of that one. Ooh, and then the final one, I definitely feel like while I mix this up, I think I'm gonna have to rule up. I think it was, what is it? This one, let me just taste. Yeah, I just, mm. I do not enjoy this one. I'm, I'm ruling this one out. He's now gone from the party, okay? I don't know what he was, but we'll find out towards the end here. Who are the winners so far? These guys, we have one left. Milk, keine Zucker. At this point, I've drunk so much tea, I'm starting to get woozy. There's just not much flavor with this one. It's all right. And at this point, I've tasted all of them. It's now time to rule some more of these out, okay? I obviously feel like this one is immediately being put forward. I've tasted it the most, I've smelled it the most. It's very unique, I love him. If that was Lipton, I would just shoot myself. So we'll just see. I really hope, where's the one I hated? I. I, I forgot that actually the American was in here. I'm hoping that one was Lipton. I, I don't know which one it is. Unoffensive. I feel like it's hard to rule out the classic yet. It's just, mm -mm. This one's really good. I feel like it, it tried really hard to be a little bit better than number one. Like I feel like it's tried to be a fancier version of this one here, but I'm gonna rule that one out actually. Pushing that one forward, okay? I, he's out. I don't know what numbers these are anymore. I should have written the numbers down, but uh, this one, here we go. <laughs> Compared to this, Yet again, I, I have to, this one's gone. Goodbye, friend. Wow, this this classic one, whatever it is, this better be a classic. It seems to be, it, for me, it's beating a lot of other stuff up. Oh, that one's nice. That one's quite nice. This is a very enjoyable video for me to make. I'm just drinking tea at this point. I can't get rid of him yet. This one, I'm gonna have to slide on. I just want an excuse to drink this. What an experience. How about you, boy? Can you compete against the tasty boy, the classic, or his friend? Yeah. I'd say he's he's very closely aligned with this one. Let me just compare these. Oh, these are like so close to each other. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with this one out of these two though. I'm ruling him out. I'm getting so caffeinated. All right, these two though, they need to, we need to figure out which of these two compares to classic boy. It's a bit watery compared to the compared to this one. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice cuppa. I'm trying to like find things wrong with it, but I'm like, that's just it's very full. And um, it's all I think. Mm. Yeah, damn it. And it's like I feel like encompassing my mouth with all the flavors with this one. I, I don't know what I can do with that. At this point, uh, yet again, these two are great. Uh, I already know what this one is because it's like the tasty one. Also, color wise, and maybe it's just the color of the inside of this mug, but it looks slightly different. 
This one is significantly different from these two. These two taste very similar. This one is a little bit different. This one clearly the unicorn. And then we have El Clasico. If this is Lipton, I will die. This is really just picking hairs here, but I'm gonna have to rule this one out. I feel like it's so close to this one right here, but it's just not as good. Just a little bit, just a little bit. We're down to it, down to the last four. This is where teas become men. Or men take their tea, I don't know. Obviously I've not had enough digestives in between. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so curious on what that first one was because I, <laughs> I kind of kept everything in and then I went, not this one. All right. Left, we're doing left or right. If I have to get this one out this round, it's not because he's bad. If it goes for any of these. I don't, I don't, I feel like I know I'm not taking him out this round. This one is a little bit better than the classic. This one's out. Ooh, that was, I felt like that was easier. Oh my God. If I have to drink any more tea, <laughs> I feel like you know what one I'm going to pick for the favorite, but I'm concerned that this might be the Melbourne breakfast. And if that's true, the second place gets the winner of the English breakfast, whichever that may be. Dang it. I've made my decision. Goodbye. Essentially, it's come down to these two. They have two very distinct flavors. I'd say that of all of the similar tasting ones, this one here is definitely the winner. This one stands out as the best tea that I've drunk today. Uh, I really don't know what's going on here. I just know this one was definitely the most unique, had a bit more like, it was sweet. It tasted sweeter than the other ones. Like I said, it was uh, even the smell. And I'm now interested in seeing what I have decided to do. The T2. Interesting. I, I nailed it. That was the Melbourne breakfast. Okay, so the Melbourne breakfast, uh, it, it just was, you could definitely tell it's very unique compared to the other ones. The flavor profile was very different, very sweet. In terms of the classic, Clippers. All right, so Clippers ended up being my favorite of the English breakfasts. Uh, now, what was the one that I absolutely dreaded? Uh, was it this one, Bliss, over here? Uh, TWG. The, the touristy tea leaf tea was the absolute worst. Let me get another sip of that. Ugh, yeah, it is It is just very watered down. Like compared to the other ones, and they've, these have all been made the same exact way. TWG, the tourist tea, that is the most expensive of all of these teas as well. And that was the worst tea available. All right, what do we have here? This one was uh, pretty good. Tea pigs, all right, not bad, not bad. That one's the fancier bags. I think that one's a bit overpriced as well, but that one uh, lasted. Typhu, I only associate Typhu with like the more fancy, I have a uh, cold and I need to take a Typhoo type of cold tea. What was this one? You got close through. Twinings! Yes, all right, I, he got into the final round. Okay, I know my palate, all right? I'm glad I got that Twinings in there. All right, Tetley, all right, another good one. Yet again, I feel like Tetley and the classic one, which was the Clippers, which I've not really had that much. Of all of these, I'd say Clippers I've had the least. If I'm talking quicker, it's because of the caffeine, my friend. I think the Yorkshire Gold was appropriately ranked by me. Like I put that out somewhere around like what, third or fourth out? It was, it was good. I think that's the one actually I said it wanted to be fancier than the other one. It's got the gold to it. It's like Yorkshire gold. And it, you could tell, but I just feel like the classic taste tasted a little bit better than the Yorkshire gold. PG Tips. This is one that is yet again good. And I found PG Tips and uh, Tetley were so similar. I could barely tell the difference. And then look who we have here. Lipton, interesting. So the most expensive one I kicked out first. Do you remember which one I kicked this one out? I feel like we'll, we'll see this in the edit. I do not enjoy this one. I'm, I'm ruling this one out. He's now gone from the party. Okay, interesting, good. So yeah, at least uh, there's reason for British people not to like Lipton. Besides the touristy one, which yet again, it's not really for British people. Touristy one and American one, the worst. Australian one. A bit of a cheat though, all right? I don't really know if we can consider the Melbourne breakfast the actual winner here because it wasn't English breakfast. They weren't playing by the rules. However, I will say congrats to Clippers and second place to Twinings for the best English breakfast tea according to my palate. I'm so caffeinated. These are all, like I said, most of them were pretty good teas. I was really nickel and diming to try and find the difference. But there's such a large assortment of teas, just like uh, today's video sponsor Squarespace actually has a large assortment of free templates for you to use to build your own website. I honestly can't believe that like, there's so much programming that goes involved into making your own website. And the fact that there's now a service available where you can easily have it all designed, dynamic, works on your mobile device, works on your desktop, have a web store, have a blog, have really good customs for it. 
honestly, I, I just can't believe we live in a day and age where it's that easy to do that. So much so that that's why I built my, my website with Squarespace and why I love them so much for supporting this channel for so long, allowing me to do weird stuff like this. If you want to build a website, a blog, a store, anything, please sign up today to squarespace.com slash Edinger or use code Evan at checkout and you can get 10% off your first website. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And if you're not filled in with enough content, well, I've actually made this video recently in which I ranked all British food. I, you might be upset at me. You might be happy. Check that one out. Other than that, see you in the next one. Oh! <laughs> I need to throw up all my tea. <laughs>